team, uh, CEO of Humanizing. Thank you for coming. Thank you for flying from Germany all the way to Texas uh, to meet us. Today you gave a great presentation to our sales team about you know, the new direction that humanizing is taking. So can you talk about that a little bit? True, true. Yes, thanks, Elad. Yeah, indeed, we changed a little bit our strategy in humanizing uh, to focus on interactive avatars, or we call it um, the digital employees or service employees. Because on the one hand, same as here in the US, we uh, face the scarcity of personal or the shortage of labor work. And this is one of the actions that we are both uh, targeting with our physical robots to do physical task automation, which is absolutely necessary and good. But on the other hand, we also recognize that there is um, cognitive, uh, repetitive tasks to automate. Yeah. And we came to the conclusion that interactive avatars is a, a very good solution to, um, you know, to realize a lot of use cases, uh, answering frequently asked questions, to receptionist tasks in entrance buildings, to product promotions, to check-in in hotels. Mm -hmm. um, so there, there are a lot of use cases that we believe that interactive avatars in screens uh, can handle. Where do you see the biggest value to customers? Why would they go with an avatar yeah. and not with a physical robot or an employee? Yeah, so the avatars are 24-7 available. So this is a major advantage that you have. To, you can offer a service on, on every point of service that you want 24-7 in a public life environment. It is speaking up to 20 and even more different languages, which is also, um, especially in public places, in a bank or in a hotel, uh, usually very required from, from the employees to, 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 to have the capabilities, but it's, not, it's also due to the shortage of people, not, not everywhere. Um, able to, 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 to afford or to, to employ. So this is a huge advantage and um, due to the fact that it's, let's say, hardware agnostic, so it can be utilized in almost every screen from your mobile device over your PCs up to big screens. And it looks nice, so they can customize. If, if a customer has a mascot, for instance, already in his corporate brand, some of them have, or even not, you can personalize an avatar. It gives a company, we call it sometimes a digital soul or, it, uh, or just a personal or a physical representation. And this makes customers more connectable to corporates. Yeah, uh, I, I see what you mean. This is the face of the company, right? So, you know, whenever they interact with the company, they get that. But I would like to state something because we absolutely don't go in the photorealistic approach. This is important. So we would never try to become too close to human appearance because you, we both know the effect <coughs> of the uncanny valley yes. in the robotics. So if something gets too human-like, it scares. Yeah. We need to think about that the avatars that we bring out to public places attract the majority of the society. So from young to old, from non-technique to technique, let, let's say the common ground is in a certain way the, the fun. So it has to be kind of a gamification approach and that's the reason why we are more in this uh, Pixar uh, character, yeah. cartoonish approach. Yeah. But it's also super scalable, uh, you know, from the business owner point yes. of view. So if you own a bank, right, you have, you know, hundreds of branches, yes. how do you deploy the same knowledge to all of them at once? That's a yes. you know, great tool to yes. thanks hotels and so on. Thanks also for the word of knowledge. Um, the avatars, they have the capabilities to, let's say, to absorb and to uh, get a lot of information from a website or from FAQs or whatever you have stored also in your internal databases, like in file servers or something like that. You can simply upload in avatars and then immediately, um, right in a few minutes, they can answer any question in, in regard to what you uploaded, which is, which is an advantage. So, Every related question to, to your company, to the facility, to, to how to, uh, get to, to apply for vacation or something like that, an avatar can answer. Next to the typical chatbots, you have now a personification around that. Absolutely highly scalable uh, with all the information that a corporation is providing. Yeah. yeah. So what's the secret sauce behind that? I mean, how avatars can yeah. crunch data and, and bring it to... Yeah, it's a secret. Yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> okay, so I, I promised myself, I promised myself to go at least 24 hours without saying it even one time, ChatGPT. <laughs> Is it ChatGPT? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> no, I, I mean, of course, uh, since GPT is available, uh, the technique of GPT is, 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 is genius. Mm -hmm. So, um, of course, we utilize also the technique, yeah. but it's also adding much more than just only GPT. It's also the combination out of how we, you know, an avatar has the human senses adapted. Mm -hmm. it, it is also due to the microphones, the speakers and the, and the um, um, cameras we have the ability to talk, to speak, to interact with, so me meaning language models, to understand uh, speech recognition or uh, text-to-speech, so the other way around, is, is also included. So it's a combination out of a lot of modules, AI modules, not only GPT. So I also say to us, we've been, even an AI company with our adaption of AI tools, uh, years before GPT was launched, even if now, AI companies uh, pop up everywhere. Yeah, everything is AI right now. But, uh... but, but I mean, of course, it changed dramatically since the generative AI is here. <clears throat> it helps us also a lot, uh, no doubt about it. But um, um, the secret sauce is, is, is a combination out of uh, plenty of things. Can, can you talk about the, like the, the experience for, you know, for the customer? Like, what do you see, uh, like, is it Public facing? Is it more internal facing? Take, you know, I don't know, operating manuals, hundreds of pages, and just crunches data and let people query that? Or is it more publicly uh, facing? Take, you know, data from, you know, your website or, you know, any other marketing materials or sales materials and just help customers discover your process, your product, and everything? So, what works at any time is everything that you publish externally. So whenever you have something on your website, it's obviously meant for the pub public. Yeah. So there, there you even don't have any sensitive. No, but this makes it more accessible. True. Yeah. This makes it more accessible. That's, that's the key point. And it saves you a lot of time because you can just um, ask. Mm -hmm. So you don't have to search. This, 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 this saves a lot of time. Yeah. And internally, in corporations, the effects get even larger. Because in, you usually invest so much time in searching for the right information that people sometimes get frustrated. Mm. And frustrating is also a very negative uh, attribute that, that does not contribute positively to your daily work. So if you can here bring a value, not only to save time and get the right answer, but even take out uh, kind of uh, frustrating situations, it, it's, it's super good. And the experience is most likely surprising because the people were not expecting to get a quick answer and um, yeah, and to see and to get immediately good results. And really, it, 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 however you are asking this thing, it, it just gets a, an answer to it if the context is right, and this is so cool. So in compared to traditional chatbots where you usually have to be in a certain frame of, of, your, of how you ask, it's absolutely open, and this is cool. So, you know, I have ChatGPT on my computer. Uh, you know, we have a paid uh, account and, and we're using it, you know. I have it on my phone, I have the app as well. Why are you using avatar, avatars, what's the... The value? Yeah. So the value is, um, you know, the, 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 the embodiment, as a sort of physical presence of an avatar. So you're right, on the, just on your personal computer, you alone with your programs, probably there's no avatar needed. But if you bring them in public life environments, they need to be humanized. They need a representation on it, a, f a personalized representation where people can relate to, and then fueled with all the power. And this would not just work with speech bubbles or something like that, where people need to type something or so. Yeah, it's more for natural yeah, yeah. interaction. Yeah. It's to make things more engaging. Gotcha. Uh, and, and this is a psychology effect. Imagine pepper, we both know it's much better. If a pepper is around, the people feel immediately attracted. So they go to it and they, 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 get, they get, you know, they feel inspired to, to yeah, to, to, to work or to, to, to interact with it because it's a social it's robot. It's something it's physical. That we exactly. Can see. So what we do is we humanize machines at the end to make it social, 
yeah, so socially or yeah, socially. I, I would say you, you're humanizing uh, data, not just machines. Oh yeah, that's because you take a bunch of unstructured data and you make it accessible through yeah. some kind of human face. So you mentioned that this, uh, you know, uh, uh, knowledge base avatar uh, can take data like website, PDFs, yes. and everything. Is it open for everything? Like, can I ask it? You know, like any random question, you know, that like can I can ask it what's the capital of uh, Germany. There are publicly available models that can answer these questions. But um, what we try or what we want to avoid is imagine a retail store mm -hmm. and you uh, would ask for um, a recommendation about the product. Mm -hmm. And suddenly it turns out that this avatar says to you, yeah, you can get this product in Zara. <laughs> yeah. in, in, on the neighbor's yes. store. So yes. this would be an issue. If it, you know, so domain-specific knowledge, yes. usually we try to narrow down use cases. So uh, to get down to, to, to an answer for a specific question and problem, which is usually in a specific domain. Got you. So if I'm, let's say, in a car dealership, mm -hmm. okay? Um, I'll load all the information about the specific models, all the data, all the technical information, all the you know the stories behind that, everything that you know there is, and then you can actually uh, you know ask questions about, hey, can you recommend? We are a family of five, Correct. okay, and we have a large dog. Correct. Which car is the best? Correct. For me? Correct. It's a it's a product recommender. It's, 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 it's a collection out of all the available information combined with the logic about the question that you are asking and then to point or narrow down there, there we are, narrow down to, to a recommendation. I got you. Exactly. Yeah. So that's all great. I mean, I love avatars and the concept behind that, but I'm sure there are areas that avatars don't really match and it's not a good fit. Yeah. What, what, where would you know, be the wrong place to place that? So, uh, okay, yeah, you're right. So what I've learned so far is, of course, that avatars don't work in, 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 in areas where it's about high class, really high, high, end. high end class service. Uh, so very expensive areas where, where you usually <clears throat> also not expect kind of automation. Like so a boutique hotel, you know, you want the personal exactly, touch, you want the little gift bag. That, exactly, you know. something like that. Yeah. So an avatar would not work there. So avatars are great to basically process masses, to streamline oh, yes. 2,000 people or 20,000 people, oh, yes. right, showing up and roughly at the same time. Uh, exactly. Yeah, and, it, and, and we need exactly. to process all of them and exactly. give everyone keys and, you know, do all of that at once exactly. without, you know, a line of 100 people exactly. waiting for that. Correct, especially in convention centers. Yeah. You know, tomorrow is a huge fair. Everyone is coming at the evening at the same time and yeah. the same two, three hours time frame and everyone wants to check in. Then you need to uh, distribute um, <clears throat> that, that the experience for the customer is good and, and therefore Avatar helps very well. That's a super good point. And can you, I mean, you mentioned hotel check-in. Can you integrate with physical things? Because we need a key to go to the door and mm -hmm. open the door. Yes. So under the avatars, which is a beautiful front end, we have a powerful back end. And this software is called the Plural software. And as the name is already stating, Plural, we try to connect via some APIs to third party systems. And here comes the automation level, like a property management system, a PMS, to and further to a credit card terminals and key cutters so like, you can pay through that as well oh yes oh yes so you can w with the with the adoption of the external devices like credit card and key cutter and the connection to the booking engine you have the entire solution for making a check-in process automated by the way we have another nice use case for events name batching printing name bat yeah i thought about that i thought that of was course like, you know, concierge right provide all this information and even further, so the platform also gives us the ability to add services like phone calling services. Mm. Or if it's a high security, if it's a, like a exactly. like or bank, back office of a exactly, bank. Exactly, especially in banks, you know, when you want to have, when you have a visit, uh, a meeting with someone and uh, you want to go to your uh, consultant, <clears throat> you have to inform them that you arrived. 
and then you click and then it's it's getting on a phone call and you can talk to it and they say yeah wait a second I'll, I'll come down oh through the avatar oh yeah really you can also call for the avatar this is this is one opportunity or just send an sms a signal this is also something uh this is uh, included these are the the further services in plural next to adapting external devices you have also the opportunity for sms service emailing service a phone call and even what's very interesting, connect third-party mailing systems, for instance, for fares, lead generation. So you want to have further information, okay, type in your email address here, and this goes directly to your, for instance, HubSpot system, you have it in your CRM, and from there, automate, aut automatically, um, the mailing uh, automation sets in. So, cool. Uh, fully, full, full digital uh, solution. Oh, that's awesome. That's yeah. great. So what's the future looks like if you're looking, you know, five years, ten years? So I, I'm absolutely convinced and I deeply believe that these avatars will be more and more present uh, in public environments on different spots. But as I said, to automate routine tasks, um, because there is so much uh, to automate. Um, and and people don't want to do these jobs anyway. So. Uh, that, that's the next point. You are absolutely right. This, this comes as a consequence. If you once start with it and have the first tractions and successes and reference cases, um, it usually sets in um, kind of um, a good ongoing development to bring them out. And it's, it's like with the Pepper Robots as well. You demonstrate, you make um, a, a consultancy, you create a use case and then you, you deliver. Awesome. And now the demonstration is even quicker because it's just in the web browser. So it's you send just someone a link in the same minute, in the same minute while you are calling to someone, he can test immediately. So it saves a lot of time. Yeah, can't wait. I mean, we are working with large hotel chains and you know large assisted living facilities and so on. Yeah. Can't wait to put it cool. over there and <laughs> you know have some you know real uh, real life examples for that. I, 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 I'm, I cannot wait as well. Yeah. Awesome. I'm absolutely happy about that. Cool. Thank you, Dean. Appreciate it. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Thanks for the partnership. Sure. Thank you.